Hello everyone and welcome to ROS2 Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to properly install ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. Ok, let's immediately start. But before I explain the installation procedure, let me explain a few things about ROS2 to new users and to students who are just beginning with ROS2. Namely, if you go to this web page, this is an official ROS2 to web page and if you read this section about list of distributions you should see currently one two three active and maintained distributions you should see the release date you should see EOL date EOL date is the end of life date and you can see Jazzy Jalisco end of life date 2029 then you can see Iron Irvini end of life date recently 2024 and humble hug spill end date May 2027 so a lot of students ask me the following question should I install Jazzy Jalisco, Irony Irvini or humble hug spill well my suggestion is the following look always at the end of life dates here this version, that is Jazzy Jalisco, has an end of life date 2029, so it's a good candidate that you install and start learning this distribution. This is a relatively recent distribution that's an upgrade from the previous distributions and it's released in 2024 May. Another option for learning ROS2 is Humble Huxbill. Humble Huxbill exists already for two years and there are a lot of tutorials and a lot of material about Humble, Humble Hugspill. So again, a good suggestion is also to learn Humble Hugspill. My suggestion is start with Humble Hugspill, learn it, then jump to Jazzy Jalisco. Okay. Another comment is to avoid our Iron Irvini since the end of life date is November 2024. Okay, so let's continue with installation of Jazzy Jalisco. First of all, Click over here and open this main page. Over here you can see the main thing, then click here on installation. And over here you can see a bunch of things, so you should click over here on install Jazzy Jalisco. So here are the installation instructions. And I will go over these installation instructions together with you in a terminal window and we will explain everything thoroughly. Now, again, here is another comment. Here you have a different types of no different types of distributions, but you should see different types of platforms. My suggestion is the following one. Before you even start to install Jazzy Jalisco, make sure that you have the proper Ubuntu distribution. That is, make sure that you have 24.04 Ubuntu distribution. And I will teach you how to check the distribution. Again, all these installation instructions will not work on other Ubuntu distributions such as 20.04, 22.04, you need to have 24.04. Another comment is avoid installing Windows, actually avoid installing ROS2 on Windows machine through a virtual machine avoid to do that. I had very bad experiences doing this. The proper way is to install Ubuntu on your machine either through a dual boot or you can freshly install Ubuntu on a clean system and install ROS2. Okay, the first step is to, to check that we have the proper Linux distribution. So click over here, open a terminal window and inside of this terminal window, type this, lsb, this symbol, release-a. So let's see. Okay, over here you can see that I have Ubuntu 24.04 LTS and the code name is Noble. And if you go back to this tutorial, you will see that's precisely the required Linux distribution. Again, if you don't have this Linux distribution, don't follow this tutorial and don't try to install ROS2 since you will waste time. Okay, so now that we know that we have proper Linux distribution, let's go back to the tutorial. 
And over here, we will install Debian packages. And this is the recommended option. I don't suggest you to go and install binary archive, install Debian packages, since you're most likely a complete beginner. Okay, so what is the procedure? Well, the procedure is first of all to set up your system and to enable required repositories. So let's do that. Okay, so first of all, we have to make sure that our system supports UTF-8. To do that, let's run this set of commands. First of all, let's run this command. And over, the, over here, I can see UTF-8. However, just in case, let's follow this complete manual. So let's do this. Enter your password. Then let's run this command. Then let's run this. And finally, let's export. And finally, let's type again, locale. And you can see that nothing changed, right? However, I'm just running this to follow all the steps. The next step is to enable the requir required repositories. We will need to add ROS2 apt repository to our system. Now, before we do that, you have to make sure that you have Ubuntu Universe repository enabled. There are several ways to do that. One way is to use the command line, and let's do that. Okay, as you can see over, already over here, software properties common is installed. Then let's run this. And press enter. Okay. Next, we need to add ROS to GP, G, GPG key with apt. First of all, we need to install curl. And after that, we need to execute this command. Okay, so let's continue. Then we need to add the repository to our source list. We do it like this. Okay, let's continue. This option is optional, that is to install development tools. However, I'm going to do that also since I want to develop ROS packages. Okay, and finally, let's install ROS2. To install ROS2, first of all, we need to update. Okay. Then, here it's a very important remark. ROS2 packages are built on frequently updated Ubuntu systems. So consequently, it's always recommended that you ensure that your system is up to date before installing new packages. So let's run upgrade. And click on yes. Over here to install, you have two options. You have the desktop install which will install everything. It will install ROS, RVs, demos, tutorials, gazebo, etc. Or you have the so-called bare bones or base, base installation. I suggest you not to install this version, that is the base one. Install the complete desktop. Okay, now yes and relax since this will take some time. Okay, so after several minutes, the installation is completed. Next, let's try to source the environment. Sourcing the environment means that we want to actually execute this setup.bash file that will set up all the environmental variables for our ROS2.
Okay, so let's try to execute this file and if you don't see any error, this means good. It looks like the ROS2 is installed with no issues. Now let's try to run a standard hello world example for ROS2. That is, we will run a talker listener or publisher subscriber example. Okay, so let's learn how to do that. Now look what I will do. I will close this terminal. You can safely do this after running these commands. So let's open a new terminal. Again, I will resize this terminal such that you can see what I'm typing. Let me do it quickly. Okay, so let's start. Oops, I didn't want to do this. Now, in this terminal, we always need to source this setup file. That is, whenever you want to run a ROS2 program or ROS2 package, you need to source this setup.bash file. Remember that. Now, let's run the talker example. The talker example will actually publish a string through appropriate topic, and this string will contain a continuously increased increasing integer. So let's see this. ROS2 run demo node CPP talker. So let's see. Okay, great. Something is happening. And you can see that we are publishing this string. Publishing hello world 1, publishing hello world 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, etc. So this string over here is being published. This string actually here, hello world. And it's being published to an appropriate topic. Now, let's create another ROS node that will actually listen to this message, that will receive the message, and that will print the message. To do that, click over here to open a new terminal. Then, again, source the setup.bash file. You always need to do that. So, let's run ROS2 run demo nodes pi. This means that these nodes are written in pi and listener. So let's see what happens. Aha! You can see that our listener is printing this message. I heard hello world 55, 56, 57. So you can see currently 65, 66 is emitted and you can see that the listener is actually able to receive these messages and it is able to print these messages on the computer screen. Okay! If you can run this demo example, this means that you have successfully installed ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco. Congratulations! Okay, that's all for today.